If you were thinking about cloning yourself, this anime will teach you that that's probably not a good idea. Let's jump in. In the distant future, human beings have been forced to leave Earth and migrate to another galaxy. Humanity's last hope lies in the hands of five specialists tasked with terraforming a new planet until a fatal error complicates their mission. There is eight episodes, 30 minutes apiece about, except for the last episode, which is about 45 minutes. And really, this chronicalizes the idea of what humanity could possibly do to survive a planet to survive on. It also takes up the themes of whether we should. The audacity of human nature seeing another planet that seems to be desolate. You know what? For us to save us, we're not going to care about what might be on that planet. Even though our science says there's nothing on that planet, we're going to go and terraform that. But we have to survive. You know, because we're human, we have that right. There's many themes and thought processes that go into the story of this anime. I think the anime itself looks pretty good. The characterization of how they look weird kind of sharp lines in the animation it is 3d rather than 2d I think that will be annoyance to some people because I know some really don't like that sort of animation or anime there's a good cast of voices here in the original and uh, in the dubbing so we've got Nolan North Robbie Diamond Ellie Hillis uh, in the English and I'm not even going to jump try and pronounce the Japanese names I like this but I do feel like it's going to split audiences because it does have a slow burn there's a a lot of dialogue there's a lot of kind of slow movements or building up to the story the crescendo of the issue the last episode is great and there's quite a bit of action there but it isn't an action heavy anime there is action sequences to be had but if you're coming into this thinking that it's going to be violent uh, or, or very action heavy that is not this anime it's got something to say and it kind of does it in the guise of this anime and I do like the art style I think it's an interesting style it's not one that I see too much of I think it's beautiful to look at and the story itself is well done it reminded me a little bit of Farscape if you're my age you might have seen a science fiction series Farscape my name is John Crichton. The model design of the ship had that kind of feel and look to it. The designs are all very realistic as to something that we would create but I don't think the science kind of works all the time there are moments where things happen and we're like yeah if you didn't have gravity then or if all the air was sucked out I'm not sure that's how like space works but this is an anime and it is set in a you know a, a futuristic future that might happen so you do put it like an air of believability to a side and just enjoy it for what it is and for the most part it's all handled very well. There's a story here that kept me engaged, the main reason why I kept watching each episode. So the wider arc as to what humanity is going to do to survive, they sent these guys out to terraform a planet so by the time they get there from their cryosleep, you know, we have some way to live. The story inside of that is what kept me engaged. It's kind of the hunchback of Notre Dame meets Frankenstein's monster meets Jack and the Beanstalk. You kind of chuck that all in together and that's kind of where I think this had me engaged. My favorite character is Lewis the monster and I really liked his development and change over the episodes. There are a number of characters that you'll get to know more as the episodes take their time. It's not your standard, you know, 26 minutes a piece take out that intro and outro and we end up with 20 minutes no it's a good 25 minutes for each episode a lot of time to do character building story building arc building so that when we get to that crescendo of that 45 minute piece action sequence and everybody's kind of gearing up to not doing spoilers as to what's going to happen are they going to be able to terraform the planet or is everybody going to die because of an extra mystery another storyline that's in there yeah I, I was on board for it it's not the best anime it's not going to be like in my top Top 10 anime of all time but I did enjoy it for a one-time watch I think I was emotionally engaged enough to keep watching the next episode but it didn't have me riveted on the edge of my seat like some anime do at the moment three Nicolas Cage's out of five let me know your thoughts what did you like most of all I didn't even talk about the score and I think the score is very good in this it has an emotional beat like the synth emotional at the right time just adding to the animation rather than saying hey here I'm the score I'm loud and vibrant and I'm gonna carry this anime rather it's a thing that's underlined and edited into the anime very well let me know your thoughts are you gonna watch this have you seen it what did you think Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.